Hi, it's Maeve and Katie. We're back again. And this time we're going to introduce a whole, I won't say new category because we've had this category for 10 years on Baba Me, but we've revamped it quite extensively because it had got very old and tired. Yeah. Kitty, Kitty made her pet project for 2018, January. <laughs> yeah, you seem to have rainbowed us. <laughs> It's fair to say. So we're talking about CSP, cloth sanitary pads and menstrual cups. And we have a couple of new brands in. Yeah. We have some new cups in. We've revamped the whole range. I think that's all up yeah. and live it's now. It's all up online. Should have stock being synced as we speak if it hasn't already done so. And Pink Daisy's a brand we've had for, oh God. Ever. Ever, yeah. But they've revamped their they pads. We've got some new pads in and we've got some new cups in. So let's start with Pink Daisy. Well, let's talk cloth sanitary pads let's talk about that why you'd use them how you use them and what type that you need to look for and go for okay so i mean if you're used to using pads you'll know that there's no danger of toxic shock syndrome but what you don't realize is that they're absolutely full of plastic there's about four plastic carrier bags worth of plastic in each sanitary tile and all of that either gets flushed which it really shouldn't do um or goes to landfill and a lot of it ends up in beaches um, and as I'm sure if you've walked past a used sanitary tile on the beach it's not a very pleasant experience for anybody and certainly not for marine wildlife who get to swim about and all of that. So reusable sanitary pads, dead simple, use your pad and whenever you're finished using it you can fold it up, just fold it along like this, back on itself and then you can put that in a little wet bag and then on wash day you can just throw it into the washing machine and it'll all get washed clean and you can use your pad over and over and over again so it saves you money now i'm sure there's a lot of mums going uh at this and that's probably a fairly common response in fairness yeah we find an awful lot of mums start thinking about cloth pads when they're using cloth nappies yeah you're washing the nappies every day you might as well throw your pads in uh what do you say to mum to go uh and that initial i mean there's a whole there is there's a whole stigma behind you know your Periods, menstrual flow yeah. and all the rest and it doesn't have to be gross i mean what's more gross having it in landfill forever putting four carrier bags against you inside your knickers or a cloth pad that you wash it goes in your washing machine you don't have to scrub it by hand your washing machine does all the hard work cleans away all of you know the flow that's in the pad and then you just reuse it it's not icky or gross the washing machine cleans it. So let's talk about the washing. How how would you? Uh, we'll talk about a quick washing routine. We'll briefly, and then we'll go through the different types of pads. How do you wash your pads? I'm a huge fan of washing anything at sixty um, with bio, um. So that would be my wash routine. So you could do a cold rinse, then wash at sixty on a long cotton wash, and then just dry. That's it. Bob's your uncle. A washing lot of machine people does all the work. Soak in cold water. You're not a fan of that. I don't really see the need to. I've never seen the need to soak anything in cold water. It might help a little bit for staining if you're finding that's an issue. Hang it on the washing line if it is, and the sunshine will take any stains away. But at the end of the day, it's only inside your knickers anyway, and the stain is still clean. And let's be clear: Do you see heavy blood and stuff on them when you're using them? No, no more than you would do if you had like a regular disposable sanitary towel. It's a little bit discoloured, but then you wash it and it's all gone away. And the only difference is you throw these in your washing machine. Now, would you wash these with your normal family clothes, or do you do a separate wash? I would do. A, I would do a cold rinse and maybe throw in a towel wash or a bedding wash, and then wash that all together because it likes a long sixty wash, and that's what I choose to wash at. You could wash it forty, and you can use the additional like Dettol or whatever in your wash if you want to but there's really no need and again it's a lot of people you know if you're washing pants knickers that might have got a bit stained it's exactly the same yeah you don't throw away your whole knickers if you have a bit of a leak so why would you throw away your pad okay so that's the quick washing we'll put a detailed blog up on washing i think we've got a couple ready ready to go let's talk about the pads the types the sizes what have we got in so we've got a couple for you. We've got Pink Daisy and we've had, as we have said, Pink Daisy in for years. Now they have two different types of pad. They have Stay Dry and then they have Organic Cotton. So Stay Dry is man-made. Organic Cotton is a little bit more eco-friendly. So you've got two types. So inside the pad, you've got your directions for use on the back of your instruction here. And then if you just open it up with these ones, 
this PUL, so this colourful waterproof layer, goes against your knickers. And then you just fold it round like you would a winged pad and you just clip it together with a little popper on the back. Can you get that in there? Yep. And then this is a stay dry layer, so that keeps you dry and absorbs everything into the pad. And then that's it locked away. So that is your stay dry. Then we have your organic cotton. Now they do these in three sizes and this is the large size. So great for postpartum or overnight. So it's quite long. So it's gonna make sure that you're not gonna get any leaks up the front or down the back. And this is organic cotton and it's really quite nice and velour soft. Oh, that is super soft. That's lovely. Like, you just like that, like that yeah. compared to four plastic bags. Can I feel that one? It's soft too. That's soft it's actually. It's surprising. I was expecting that to be scratchy, but it's that is lovely. That's gonna be really, really nice. Yep, so you can put that against you and you're not going to have any plastic anywhere near you. That is organic cotton. And again, just lay it in your knickers and then just fold it over and pop the popper together. We often get asked, do you feel the popper? No. No. It's the same with nappies. You don't feel it. There's enough material there to... Yeah, I'm always getting okay. questions about little baby poppers and nappy poppers. And I was like, well, no, you just don't feel it at all. And if, once it's dirty, you pop it the other way. Yep, so you can unpop it and you can fold it in on itself and then you should just be able to snap it closed so there's nothing going to be rubbed off anywhere a little tiny wet bag quite handy to keep it in the bathroom or you can get little tiny bags again just to keep in your handbag whenever you're out and about but that is your large size your medium size and your small and we have rainbows we have tweet with the little birds there and we have butterfly gardens so Great. something pretty to look at on your period and actually in terms of we often get this again when you're out and about do we have a wet bag handy we don't we we didn't bring no them. of course we don't babe because we're not that perverse <laughs> to, but when you're out and about just throw them in and there's really lovely logan and logan clutch. and Laura clutch bag would be my go-to for uh a nice bag to keep in your handbag it's got a little dry section at the front so you can pop a clean csp in there take that off to the bathroom it just looks like a nice pretty little clutch bag no nobody's one's gonna know going, oh she's gonna change her pad you know it's very discreet are the cotton ones bulkier uh no it's just the larger pad um so each of them has uh stay dry and uh organic cotton in each of the three sizes the organic cotton's no bulkier than the stay dry and I was going to say, you know, over the years, we've been selling these for at least 10 years. I can't remember when we first bought them in. They've really improved because I remember pads 10 years ago that were so thick and you and know you were really wearing awesome them. And they had really awesome colours too, didn't they? They were like brown. Brown, yeah. <laughs> Why were they all chocolate brown? But you'd really know you were wearing them. They were just these big clunky things. You do not know that nobody's going to spot yeah, these. Yeah, I first started nice using slim. cloth pads whenever I was postpartum with Alfie. And I have to say, I haven't leapt back on using re reusable menstrual products. And I'm the sort of person who would have like gone, ew, before. And a lot of people come to these because they're allergic to a lot of the plastic and chemicals in pads get itchy they're, yep. they're just allergic the sweat they're just, just not yeah. nice so they start using these and if you're that type of person i'd suggest the organic the cotton organic cotton is going to be the kindest that you're going to go for great so that is the pink, daisy. pink daisy they're so nicely refreshed they've just changed those they haven't been on the market for a while because they were changed them but they're back in so now we've got now we have tc's eco now this is a work at home mum um so we've got some of her pads in and they are a little bit more spectacular so you've they're got very pretty they're very pretty so we've got them in two different colorways we've got both exclusive to Bellamy. we have the purple lace and we have rainbow scales guess who chose those prints yeah <laughs> so this one and um, as you'll see it has the type stitched into the top of the pad and this side goes against you you've got fleece on the back and the fleece is your uh stay dry or your anti wick through into your knickers so there's no pul in these it's nope. fleece it's fleece so it's porter fleece backed and that goes against your knickers and you've got the cotton jersey against your skin and is that charcoal fleece which is meant to be um yes so there's charcoal bamboo in this as well so it's um anti stink basically okay. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be talking menstruation we're gonna be talking about smells it locks away the smell and as long as you're washing properly you don't get stinks Perfect. so you just fold again in and you can Tuck that up and pop it in like that. But just to note, those fleece goes against... Fleece goes against Snickers. Whereas with the... With the pink daisy, the PUL layer went against your Snickers. And it's a PUL layer. So you layers. get the colourful side up with these ones. 
And actually, it really is a personal choice whether you go for bamboo fleece or PUL. Some people prefer the fleece, some people prefer the extra guarantee of the PUL, but I think it's going to be slightly sweatier, but um, it's not necessarily. I've got, I've got a cotton. mix of both, and some of mine are even just like completely cotton and have no, no waterproof layer in them at all. But so it really is personal choice. Personal choice. Try them. So TC comes in a few sizes. Yes, we have a liner here that's eight inches. Then we've got a nine inch regular pad. Both these, I would say, are good for, well, the liner's a liner, um, but both will be good for teens. So if you want to get something that's not going to be big and bulky on a teenage girl who's just starting her periods, then that's great. And we actually great. have a 10 year old girl watching this. Okay, hello, 10 year old girl. So that's perfect. I hope you like the patterns she's chosen. So if you can get the regular and the liner and they'll be perfect for you. Yep, yeah, and then we've got the regular in 10 inch, which would be more standard size for um, a my age mom. Uh, and we've got a heavy pad as well. So if you've got a heavier flow, you can go with a heavy pad. And, and does it, it says heavy on it. It says yeah. heavy on it. And then we've got a night pad that has night embroidered on it. And then we've got 11 inch pad. So if you want that bit of extra protection, you can go some for a like longer pad. And some people are yeah. taller um, and have a longer body. So they are able to use the 11 inch pads. So there we go. So that's the pads. And they are both in the rainbow scales and in the purple lace. Yes, beautiful. So that's cloth sanitary pad CSP. If you have any questions, shout them out. I'm gonna try and read them out. So let's go on now to menstrual cups. Menstrual cups. Now we've got we have a couple of different a couple types. Of, couple of different types and we've got a couple of different brands. Um we'll start with Yuki. Um, Yuki was founded in 2007 after a couple of ladies went for a walk on the beach and as I mentioned earlier, menstrual products scattered across the beach not too pleasant and um, so they thought there must be a better way and there were already a couple of cups on the market but they decided they would bring out their own version and um, so that's what they've done and all of the ones that we have here all come with an infuser box so if i open one up i'll show you what i mean you have a little tub and what you do is you pop your cup in and you fill that tub up with water to the line and then you pop it in the microwave for seven or eight minutes and what that does is that sterilizes your cup and you can do that between periods Perfect. There we go. This also gives you somewhere to store your cup whenever you fancy. So we've got different colours in these. So we've got large and small and we have classic and soft. Um, these are quite firm cups in comparison to some of the others on the market. And that's the reason I chose them. They are easier to get back open again whenever you've inserted them. So there's a load of different folds and we'll put some in for graphics up on the side as well to show you how to fold these to insert them. What I would say is make sure to try and remove your vacuum before you try to... Yeah. Yeah. remove your yeah. your yeah. cup because Trust you don't want, you don't want to be pulling one of these out without having unsealed it but and to unseal it you just literally you just squeeze it and yeah. um, there's four little holes around the top of the cup and that basically forms a vacuum inside your vagina and whenever you break the seal you can remove it really easily if you try and do it without removing the seal all manner of pain and um, so you have a little stem on the bottom that's supposed to help you remove it easily some people find that this protrudes and annoys them so you can chop that right off yeah. to the base of the cup and a lot of people do it doesn't make any difference to the performance of the cup so we have these in large and small we have them in the clear which is in these green boxes at the end and they are in soft which is still quite firm and in classic now the reason i went with these because they're great to get reopened so they're quite easy to use because they're slightly firmer and they're also really good if you're more physically active so a firmer cup will stay in place much more easily than a softer cup. So they're great if you do running or swimming or whatever. And again, swimming with a cup, it's just the nuts. You don't have anything that's going to absorb all the water from the swimming pool. So that's the clear. And then we have the exciting part. We have rainbows, ladies. Is it two different rainbows? Two different rainbows. We have Rainbow Line and Rainbow Jolly. And Rainbow Jolly, each one is completely unique because they're just splodges. So, without removing it from its lovely hygienic pad. Can you see that yeah. with your... So you've got different colours going through the cup. And it's all in a sludgy, rainbowy, different-y. Everything's going to be completely different. Yep, so each one is going to be unique. So that's the Rainbow Jolly. And then we have Rainbow Line. And these are in straight lines. But again, they're rainbow colours. 
And again, coming in a geyser box. And this is the smaller size in the cup. I so prefer you can see the, the rainbow line, I have to say. I have a rainbow line. Yeah. I love my rainbow line cup, I have to say. I was a huge tampon user before. I didn't like pads at all. Used pads postpartum, but was looking for something different and came across Yuki. And I just love them. I think they're brilliant and they're fun. Why not have some fun rainbows on your period? And they're very well priced. They are very well priced. The rainbow cups are 21 and the clear cups are 14, which is really a steal given they come in the, in the infuser tubs as well. So you've got one of those tubs, no matter which size of a cup you pick. And in terms of sizes, let's just talk quickly. So small you want if you're a teenager or if you've never given birth. If you're older or if you have given birth vaginally, then you want to go for the larger size. Perfect. Hockey cookie? Yeah. So that's Yuki and the second one is Ruby Cup. Ruby Cup. So Ruby Cup have a clear cup and then they have four different colours. So they've got red, pink, purple and blue. And they were founded in 2011 by three ladies who just wanted to bring basically menstrual health to the forefront of just daily chat and so they came up with their cup it's been really well marketed it's come off really 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 well for them and um, it is smaller than your average large cup and um, so they, they would be medium and small which is great if you've got a, a medium or a medium to low cervix so some people find that a, a regular size cup is too long and how would you know that or is it just a case of trial it's kind of a case of trial and error i mean you can know your body slightly, you can feel how far you have for your cervix and it does give you the measurements on the outside. So the measurement of the medium is 68 millimetres to the top from the bottom of the little stem. And again, you can cut that off and the small is 65 millimetres. So it gives you your dimensions on the box there. Should we have a quick look at those? Yep, this one Can we have a look is... at the purple colour? Yes. Or pink, because I like purple How about pink. purple and pink? Yes. I'm going to say now they're both going to be the same size. No is the answer, we can't open the boxes without oh. unsealing the product. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Well, we'll just have to open one up then. We'll just open one up. We'll put it as a warehouse slot. Yes. <laughs> it has been for demonstration purposes only. A couple of questions while you're opening that up. How does that compare to the Moon Cup? Moon Cup is, again, quite firm. It's not a brilliant shape these have been developed to be a little bit different the, the rims are a little bit softer you see that one's quite a lot softer than the yuki cup can we actually get them both out and put them next to each other the yuki and the ruby so people can see them next to each other i think that'll be really helpful okay so the ruby cup comes in a little organic cotton bag so that's it there and nice purple i like it that is a small and will we get a large rainbow yep yep Rainbow stripe could be like it. Rainbow stripe. And how much is the Ruby Cup? Ruby Cup is twenty five fifty. And before you have a sharp intake of breath, for every cup you buy with Ruby Cup, one is donated to a little girl who is just starting her period and is in a disadvantaged situation in a developing country. So for every cup you buy for Ruby Cup, you donate one cup. So I think that's quite nice too. That is quite nice. Now there's a big difference in size here, but one is small. One is small and one is large. So we should have probably compared uh, like to like. And we could, yeah, but that gives you the idea. There. Okay. And in terms of softness, can we sort of show that? This is the softer of the, the rainbow versions are the softer of the Yuki cups, but the Ruby cup is a lot softer. So not as good if you're physically active. So if you like to go for a run, you're probably going to be better off with the Yuki cup. This is the softest. They do get firmer. So you've got a soft, which is, this is softer than the soft. And then the classic, which is harder again. Okay. And we just want to point out that we've compared a small cup with a yep, big cup. So small that's, and that's a large. They're not comparable, really. We should have probably done Do you want it. to do a medium ruby cup as well? Yeah. No, that's good. We can do that. <laughs> so that is the Yuki and that is the... Yuki and Ruby. Ruby and I'm just going to scroll for any questions. If you've got any questions, shout them out. Caroline says bring them all to Cork. Yes, we're in Cork next weekend for the Cork Baby Show. So make sure you come and see us if you're in Cork. Oh, uh, I can't have, see questions. We have Ruby Clean as well. So their little infuser boxes are collapsible. So they're silicone, they're collapsible, so you can 
take your cup out, use your cup and have that flattened in your handbag if you wish. And they are eight ninety five on the top of my head. Okay, Sammy has asked, going back to CSP, which she's been using CSP for a few years, but she finds them a bit bulky. Which of those two brands would be thinner? Um, I'd say your TC's Echo is going to have the most absorbent material, so it will be the thinnest for the bulk of the pad. So whenever you've got the most absorbent material, it's going to be the thinnest pad because it's going to be more effective. Okay, so there you go. I think the organic cotton might be slightly... Let, let's let let's try them have in the, the same size cotton. next to each other. I think that's well, important we've got as well. a large in the organic cotton. Okay, so let's see. How and we've got... That is, it's very, very soft. I'm at an angle, so I'm trying to... Put that one on top of that one? Yeah. So I, do you know the what? The largest of the TCs. There's much of a muchness. No, I think the organic cotton has it. Do you? Yeah, I do. If you look from this angle, the organic cotton has it. There we go. You've got the edge, though. I've got the edge. Yeah. See that? But that could be the, what people think is the bulkiness, is that sewing edge. Okay, so we are done i think i've done all the questions well they've kind of disappeared oh no that's a comment button no nope, that's me writing a comment <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up if you have any questions we'll come back to them later if we've missed them uh of course it's katie and Maeve, so there's a giveaway yeah we've got a 10 pound csp voucher or not just csp i should say feminine hygiene voucher we're going to draw that next sunday just let us know what you liked or if you have any questions uh, what you liked and why, what you'd like to try. And next Sunday, so not tomorrow, but next Sunday, Katie will be drawing a £10 winner. Yes, I will. We hope you like this. Uh, sorry if we missed your question, but we will kind of browse them later and come back. So if you have any more questions, if you're watching this later, keep asking. We've got a couple of blogs coming on this as well, and we'll link those in later. Um, and that's it for now. Have a happy Saturday, Saturday evening. evening. Bye for now. Bye.